Hello friends, this video on S block elements part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What are alkali, alkaline earth metals? So we have discussed the alkaline earth metals are nothing but the group 2 metals. All these metals, beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, beryllium. And they have a trend in their properties we should discuss. Also the, uh, the beryllium, the, the, the top element of this group, uh, it differs from the rest of the elements and it has properties similar to aluminium as the group 13 elements. We'll discuss all these things. Let's start with the trends. So similar to alkali metal, alkaline earth metal also show trends in their physical and chemical properties with increasing atomic number. And we'll discuss electronic configuration, atomic and ion radius. We'll discuss ionic enthalpy, hydration enthalpy, oxidation state, reducing properties, nature of bonds, metallic character, physical properties. We'll discuss flame coloration, density, melting and boiling points and we'll also discuss chemical properties for the alkaline earth metal similar to what we have done for alkali metals let's start the electronic configuration so electronic configuration in this is ns2 so we see the electronic configuration is ns2 so we see this guy has ns2 ns2 all these will have ns2 electronic configuration you take like beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, radium, all has NS2 electronic configurations. So if you see, all the outermost will have two electrons. If you take any of these outermost will have two electrons. The outermost cell will have. Now we'll talk about the ionic and the atomic radius. So if you see the atomic and the ionic radius increase as we go down the group. Similar trend as we had in alkali metals, as we go down the group, the number of shells increase, the size increase. But if you compare the alkaline earth metal with alkali uh, metals, you will see that the atomic and the ionic radius of the alkaline earth metal is less than alkali metal. As we have discussed in the periodic properties, uh, in the properties in the periodic table, if you see, this is the trend. The moment you go from right to left, the atomic radius increase, right? Because if you are going from, let's suppose, left to right now. So you are increasing uh, atomic number. That means the charge on nuclei, right? But you are maintaining the number of shells. That is same. Right? You are increasing the number of, uh, increasing the charge. If you are going from, let's suppose, uh, magnesium to or sodium to magnesium you see or from magnesium to aluminium this trend so if you are going in this trend actually silicon phosphorus going in this trend you are maintaining the number of shells but you are increasing the charge on the nucleus so the the nucleus has more power to attract electrons so the atomic size decrease actually like this we have discussed so thus if you compare, let's suppose if this is my alkali metal and this is alkaline earth metal. Why? Because this is group 1 and this is group 2. So if you compare, so the alkaline earth metal is generally smaller in size than alkali metal. Hope you understand this way. The size decrease as we go from left to right. Alkali metal is group 1, alkaline is group 2. So if you go from group 1 to group 2, size will decrease. Why? Because the number of uh, the charge in the nucleus increase with the number of shells is same so the nucleus has more power to attract the electrons. Now we'll talk about the hydration enthalpy. So hydration enthalpy we have discussed this in the alkali chapter where we say that any anhydrous substance when it attracts a, a water molecule it becomes hydration, hydrated right and the energy is released when uh, this thing happens because the hydrated is more stable. Correct. So, but now if you see the hydration enthalpy, if you compare the alkaline earth metal with alkali metals, alkaline earth metal has more. Why? Because see, everything depends on size. I told. If you see, this is the size trend, right? This is my alkali, and this is alkaline earth metal, right? AEM. Now, if you see the size of alkaline earth metal is less than alkali metal for a given period. So the size is less, as I told, the size is less and the power is more. So in that case, here also the size is more and the power is more actually. You see the nucleus power is more, right? This power is more, power is more, size is less. So it can attract water molecule all the more than alkali metals. 
so alkaline metals form more uh, hydrated salt than alkali right because alkaline has less size and more power that is favorable for hydration what i need is more power and small size so if you see if you compare the alkaline earth metal with alkali metal both things are favorable alkaline earth metal has more power less size than alkali earth metal so they are uh, they they form more hydrate salt right that's why if you see the compounds of alkaline earth metals are more extensively hydrated than those of alkali metals for example ngcl2 cacl2 it exists as ngcl2 6s2 and cacl2 6s2 but nacl and kcl they don't have hydrated salt only in i think li h we saw it exists as hydrated salt because lithium was small in size but sodium and chlorine they are big in size so they don't form hydrates but now if you want to see the trends of hydration in the period itself there if you see it follows the same trend because if you see in the same uh, uh, group the size will increase right since the size is increasing the the power to form hydration will decrease correct okay? because it's told that the power of form hydration depends on size inversely proportional to size so the same trend actually the same trend Uh, the alkaline met, uh, in the alkaline earth metal also the trend is same the power to form hydration decrease on increase in size or as we go down the this is what you, we have saw in the last example also this is cobalt chloride the blue in color the moment it is hydrated that is you add water this becomes cocl2 dot 6 h2o and as i told hydration means water the moment the word hydration comes think of water that means any substance is anhydrous you add some water to it it adds some water molecule to that it can be 6 10 1 any number of molecules of water now we'll talk about the oxidation state so if you see all this beryllium magnesium calcium they have two extra electrons so if they lose two electrons they will become stable correct so they want to stable they lose two electrons so in mostly the oxidation state is plus 2 because if they lose two electrons they become stable correct let's talk about the metallic character so if you compare with alkali then they are less metallic right because the trend is this fashion right for the metallic character this is the trend this is my alkali this is alkaline earth metal right so if you go from this to this alkali metals are more metallic so alkaline earth metal are less metallic than alkali but if you see in the same group if you go down if you go down it has the same trend if you go down the metallic character will increase metallic character increasing as we go down the group why because the atomic size is increasing and these electrons are more free to go they are more free but this is in in case of beryllium this electron is they will be tied to the nucleus because of the size right there is the nucleus in the uh, electrons are closer so it will controlled so this electron uh, is not that free to move out but if you see the calcium magnesium so here the electrons are free to move out so the metallic character increase as we go down the group similar train as we had in the alkaline element. in most of the case you will see the train will be similar across a particular group we talk about the hydration we talk about the ionization enthalpy metallic character or size everything if you see if you go down the group for this is for alkali this for alkaline the property will almost be same correct the trend is almost same if you go down the group for alkali or alkaline but if you compare alkaline and alkaline there is a difference because of this you move in the particular period let's talk about the reducing nature here also if you go down the group it will follow the same trend as it was following in the alkaline alkali metals the size increases the size increases that means it can oxidize easily so the reducing nature also increase as we go down the group but if you compare uh, this with the uh, alkali metal then they are weaker reducing agent in alkali because alkali is this if you go down to the same period the size decreases correct for example this is my you know, sodium this is my magnesium aluminum silicon so if we go in this direction sodium is bigger than magnesium right so magnesium is smaller since magnesium is smaller it will 
not lose electron easily as compared to sodium right so this will not oxidize itself easily so it will be less reducing agent than alkali hope you understand let's talk about density here also it will have the same trend density also if you see if you go down this group actually the density will increase actually you see it has increased but since i told you that density is nothing but mass by volume right so we can guess a regular trend for mass also because the atomic number is increasing atomic mass is increasing we can guess a regular trend for volume also because the shells are increasing so the volume will increase but we can't guess a regular trend for mass by volume right this is something which we can't guess so experimentally it has been found that it is increasing but there is a deviation it has decreased again decreased then again started increasing so density is something which you actually need to experiment or you need to have data to find else it is a little difficult to guess the pattern of density in the same group if you talk about pairs the size if you compare again here is there right so sodium magnesium aluminum size decreases so if you see the magnesium is smaller than sodium so the density is also more magnesium has a higher density and this is experimented actually right normally alkali metals are having higher density than alkali metals they told you can't sure sure 100% say density pattern just by the logical explanation you need to have the data to give density figures so by experiment we'll see that the alkaline earth metals are denser than alkali ones these are more dense because see one critical parameter is the size and if you see the, if you go from here to here the atomic mass also increase so if you see from going to here to here from let's suppose group 1 to group 2 the mass is increasing and the volume is decreasing so in that case for sure we can say that density of a uh, alkali metal alkaline metal will be less than alkali metal for sure why because density is mass by volume right so from going from sodium to magnesium from sodium to magnesium right so the mass is increasing mass mass is increasing and volume is decreasing and density is mass by mass by volume so you are increasing the numerator and decreasing the denominator so for sure you can see that the density of magnesium will be more than sodium let's talk about the melting and boiling point so in melting and boiling point the same concept which we have learned for alkali of metals where we have seen the crystal uh, lattice enthalpy here also we will see the crystal lattice enthalpy smaller the size higher is the melting and boiling point same pattern will apply here also the moment you go down the group the size increase size increase that means size increase go down the group that means the instable instable lattice right instable lattice instable lattice means less melting and boiling point if you go down the group but if you compare the alkali metals and the alkaline metals this is my alkali and this is alkaline earth metal so alkaline earth metal are smaller in size smaller in size that means more stable uh lattice and that means high melting point in the world So if you compare with alkali metals, alkaline earth metal have higher melting point and boiling point because of the closed structure and stable lattice. See the trend also. If you trend, if you go down the group, the melting point, boiling point is. You see. Let's talk about another trend called flame color. What is flame color? So as we have told that uh, in the alkaline earth metal, we burn this uh, metal in the flames and then. in the bunsen burner and see the color of the flame with that we detect the color trend or we we tell the characteristic of the metals so what happens is when you pass some energy to this uh, metals the electron get excited but again it want to come back to the ground state so when it comes back to the ground state it it uh, emits light of different wavelength and these lights have different colors because every uh, wavelength has a different color so uh, these uh, 
gives different colors of the Bunsen burner. But beryllium and magnesium, they don't impart color when burned in the Bunsen burner. Why? Because beryllium and magnesium, if you see, the ionization energy is more. If you go down, the ionization energy is decreasing because the size is increasing, right? So this, this needs more energy. This needs more energy, which we will get from, uh, see the energy which we get from Bunsen burner is not sufficient to excite the electrons of beryllium and magnesium. And that's why they don't impart color to the uh, they don't impart color when burned in the Bunsen burner because the Bunsen burner has a limitation right? it can impart only a certain amount of heat and that amount of heat is not sufficient to, to excite these electrons in magnesium and beryllium but these are sufficient to excite electrons here because the size of calcium and spontium is bigger and ionization thalb is less right so they don't impart color but other ones impart color see the calcium impart the brick red color uh, strontium the crimson and the barium green color so they impart different colors to the but the first two they don't impart color when born. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.